Today, I like to lay out perhaps the fastest, maybe cheapest, and definitely most fun way to go from knowing almost nothing about filmmaking to being paid to do what you love. In early 2012, I was working at a travel startup called Wanderfly. I was their content manager and writer, populating the website with reviews and travel tidbits. But my whole life, I knew I didn't want to spend it behind a desk, no matter how great the job was. I wanted to be out in the world, experiencing new things, meeting inspirational people, and having great adventures. But while working at Wanderfly, I saw the forthcoming video wave and realized there were very few people at the time who were making great travel docs and films. Looking back, it it wasn't really until 2015 or 16 where you really saw YouTube take off. So I decided I would start making films. For me, this was a lifestyle choice more than anything else. I thought shooting films and documentaries specifically would give me access to amazing people and incredible locations. And this presumption turned out to be correct. For six months, I saved as much money as I possibly could from my very low New York City startup salary and recruited my best bud guest on to do the same. Then we quit our jobs and embarked on what would be the best film school you could ever ask for. With $6,000 each, we created a documentary series called Humanity. And our goal was to showcase the world and the people within it in the most comprehensive way that two people possibly could. We flew to India on one-way tickets and made a plan to travel throughout a dozen different countries over the course of a year with the goal of making a short documentary about a fascinating person every week. At this point, we had been self-teaching ourselves how to shoot video for a few weeks, maybe a month. And we had only shot a couple of shorts in New York City for fun. We knew nothing about cinematography, producing, directing, and even less about editing. We had a mission, a goal, and $6,000. Luckily for us, in the first home we stayed, there was another American woman also staying there who would come over to India every year and teach karate to at-risk youth. To kind of make them start dreaming and dreaming big. A perfect first subject for our humanity series. We shot with her for a day, did a basic interview with her, made tons of mistakes, had lots of bad and mediocre footage, and then spent a day editing all of it into a three minute film. It's just amazing for me. So, very, very fulfilling. Then we just put it up online and people actually watched it. Not a ton of people, but a few hundred in the first couple of days. And we even got some comments on our Vimeo page. We were anti-YouTube at the time, which might have been a mistake. It wasn't a lot, but it gave us the confidence that we need to keep going and keep improving. Every week we did more and more videos. We filmed a rock band in Delhi. We filmed the participants at the highest marathon in the world at Everest Base Camp. We did a short on the porters who haul goods and gear up to Everest Base Camp. We filmed a chef in Bangkok and another chef in Laos, a DJ in Japan, a cyclist in Cambodia, an elephant sanctuary in Thailand. We just kept filming. We kept making mistakes and through trial and error and a bit of online help, we tried to fix them. Each video, we got a bit more professional, a bit more polished. We didn't realize it, but we were putting ourselves through film school while traveling all around the world and making films. It was a film school solely about doing and creating about actually having a finished product, releasing it, and starting a new project. But we wanted to shoot, we loved it. And it resulted in exactly what I was looking for, unique experiences with locals around the world. I think one of the most important aspects of our project, we were always on the lookout for subjects, emailing people, producing short film after short film, we were meeting people in an incredibly diverse set of scenarios, which built out our skill sets. We interviewed dozens of people, honing our documentary skills. We edited and edited, trying new techniques and new ways of telling different stories. We failed a lot, but we improved and kept making work. After a year of doing this, we had really started to hone our craft and even started building a small audience. Our videos started getting tens of thousands of views on Vimeo, which I'd be happy with now, let alone in 2012 and 2013. But perhaps even more importantly, Humanity gave us tons of spec work for potential clients. And paid work started coming in slowly but consistently. First, a hotel in Bangkok, whose chef we featured, brought us back to make a property video for them. Then a resort in Koh Samui, followed by a chef conference in the Philippines for Marriott Hotels jobs that nearly paid for our entire worldwide film school. We like to think the way we did things was the correct way. And so that is all I'm doing here as well, telling you how I got started in filmmaking and why I think it is perhaps one of the best ways to learn your craft. But you don't have to travel the world to do it. You can do it right in your own city. I'm already working on a video on how to do just that. 
But the important thing is to do it. Not to be precious about your early work. Maybe nobody will see it. Maybe some people will and think it sucks. It doesn't matter. You can't get better at something without doing it over and over and over again. And that's what humanity gave us, the opportunity to fail, but with the intention each time of improving and becoming better filmmakers. And that resulted in a career that has now spanned just over a decade, and has been filled with an incredible amount of experiences and fulfilling work. So get started now, make work, keep at it. We're going to be talking a lot about that on this channel, so please subscribe and we'll talk to you on the next one.